What's up guys, my name is Brandon and it's been a while since I've made a video on the iOS 12 beta. So I wanted to make another video today talking to you guys about how iOS 12 beta, specifically iOS 12 beta 11, which is the current latest version of iOS 12. I want to talk to you guys about how it's been treating me, some of the new features and changes, how the battery life has been, how the performance has been. And of course, talk to you guys about this new super annoying pop-up that is plaguing everybody with iOS 12 beta right now. You cannot make this stuff up. So literally right once I uploaded this video, iOS 12 beta 12 got released. And of course, it is a very, very small update. Most likely the only change in this beta from beta 11 is going to be to fix that annoying pop up that I just talked about. So now there's no need to set your date back or anything like that and mess anything up. Apple was proactive on this issue and released beta 12 to fix that issue. And just to make sure that is in fact the case, I will wait for this to finish installing and then I'll come back and show you guys that it has been fixed. All right, so we're now back from installing iOS 12 beta 12. Let's go and check out the build number here. So if you go to settings general about, you can see the build number is 16 a 5366a and of course the only change here with beta 12 from beta 11 is going to be the removal of that annoying beta pop-up and just to ensure that is the case let's go ahead and lock our device and unlock it and you'll notice that we do not get that pop-up and if we go to settings go to general date and time, you'll see that we do have it set to set automatically as well. So the date and time is correct. So that is literally the only change in beta 12 and you knew it had to be an emergency release if it was going to be released on a Friday. Apple never releases betas on Friday. I shouldn't say never. Apple just rarely releases betas on Fridays. So basically everything that I said in this video about beta 11 is going to carry over to beta 12. It's literally the exact same thing just with the removal of that beta pop up, that annoying beta pop up that did to close out every time you unlocked your device. All right, so now we can continue the original video that I I had just uploaded literally right once this got released. So let's talk about my thoughts and my experience with iOS 12 beta 11. But anyways, let's talk about some of the new features and changes that I have not covered on the channel yet in iOS 12 beta. And then we're going to talk about that pop-up fix. So the first thing is a big one for me because I love my AirPods. I use them every single day. It's that the AirPods now automatically resume playback, like in the music application, Spotify or a podcast, whatever you're using when you only have one ear in. So before in iOS 11 and in previous versions of iOS 12 beta, you had to have both of the AirPods in to resume playback. Now you only need one. And this is super useful because I don't always use both of my AirPods or sometimes one will be dead and the other one won't. So this is a welcome change here in iOS 12. Another new feature is that older devices can now hold down on the X button here in Notification Center, even if they don't have 3D touch and can now get the option to clear all notifications. So if you have like an iPhone 5S or an iPad that doesn't have 3D touch, you'll now get this option by simply tapping and holding on the X instead. So we now have a new splash screen here and messages. You can see it talks about do more with the camera camera. We have a new way to share and you can read those things right there. But the most interesting one is this one right here, your conversations streamlined. And it says messages will be kept in a single conversation when you send or receive from linked iMessage addresses. And this is super useful because I hate having multiple conversations with the same person just because they used an email or I use an email instead of the phone number. And this happens sometimes, especially with me, because I may be sending a message from my computer or from another device, and I don't really check if I'm using my phone number or not. So it's really awesome that everything is going to be streamlined now. This is definitely going to prevent a lot of confusion down the road. Another thing I noticed in iOS 12 beta 11 specifically is that these screenshots seem to be much higher quality now. The file size is a lot larger for screenshots taken on iOS 12 beta 11. I'm not sure if this is a thing in beta 10 or beta 9, but beta 11 is the very first time I actually noticed it because that's when I transferred a screenshot to my computer and noticed the difference. Siri, tell me a joke. A burglar stole all my maps. I should be upset, but I'm delighted. So iOS 12 beta 11 also brings some Siri improvements, especially new jokes. So there's a lot of new jokes now with Siri. This is one that I haven't heard before. How So you can see there's a lot of funny new jokes with Siri and it's always fun to just ask Siri, you know, to tell you a joke and it tells you, especially on something like the HomePod or if I just say, hey Siri, if I'm just, you know, wanting to get a laugh, it's really cool that Siri now has a lot of new jokes. So anyways, I don't want to bombard you guys with a lot of small changes and features here. So let's talk about the speed and the battery life with iOS 12 beta 11. And performance wise, iOS 12 beta 11 is good, but I feel like iOS 12 beta 10 was a little bit better. But I will say it's definitely improved a lot over time. I've even noticed a difference in applications like Fortnite just loading up quicker, day-to-day -day tasks being a little bit quicker, nothing too noticeable, but it's definitely noticeable if you've been testing the betas out. And everything just seems to be very, very polished at this point. Now, iOS 12 beta 11 was a record-breaking beta because it was the first time ever that Apple has had an 11th beta in any iOS version. And I can actually see Apple going for a 12th beta here in iOS 12. I mean, of course, we're going to have a 12th beta just to fix the pop-up issue that we saw in the beginning of this video. But even if it wasn't for that, I could still see there being a 12th beta here in iOS 12.
12, just because I feel like they can polish it just a little bit more before the final release. And as far as battery life goes on iOS 12 beta 11, it is perfect. Battery life was a little bit up and down in the early stages of iOS 12 betas, but as of now, it's just been getting better and better. And I'm really glad to report that there are no issues at all with battery life, no draining, no anything like that. And finally, let's talk about the pop-up that happens every time you unlock your device in multiple times throughout the device, even when you don't lock it, when you go to notification center, when you go in and out of applications, you're gonna get this pop-up a ton if you are on iOS 12 beta 11. And you can see it says that a new iOS update is now available, please update from iOS 12 beta. So anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to talk to you guys about my experience with iOS 12 beta 11, iOS 12 beta as a whole, because I did not cover it on the channel very recently. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe for a lot more iOS 12 coverage, the new iPhones. I'm gonna have all the new iPhones and all that stuff. So make sure you subscribe for all the new iPhones, all the new Apple stuff going on here at the end of 2018, and of course, into 2019 as well. So anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.